to look for when shopping for a loan. Hi, I'm Jeff Chubb with the Network, and today we're here with Jason Bonarigo of RMS Mortgage, and we're talking about what are the things that you're looking, you should be looking for when you're shopping for a loan. So everybody, they're always looking for rate. Right. I and mean, it seems like, well, my get, I'm going to get a better rate here, and so therefore they go there. There's got to be more. It's always too. the first question. It's always right. the first question. I, sometimes I joke, oh, so you want the low rate. Okay, right. I was going to give you the high rate. I was going to give you the high rate. But uh, of course, I mean, and I joke about it, but of course, everybody does want the best rate. Right. And, you know, and it makes a big difference. And I'm motivated to give you the best rate. You know, we're not compensated by rate. So when I tell clients that, it's just not how the industry works anymore, thank goodness. So if I can get you, you know, 2%, I want to get you 2%. Right. Um, so yes, of course, rate is, is I don't, I don't want to say everything because it's really really isn't and you want to try to get not the consumer not away from rate but look it's a massive factor let's just say that that's par for the course as I like to say I'm going to get you that good rate and if you call 100 companies we're all going to be around that same spot right it's obviously everything that comes out so call maybe 60% of the way there so that I Closing cost. I mean, that that's of one course. that I don't feel like people ever factor in. And to me, it's a pretty important one. It is. It is. I mean, and of course they do. That's kind of their second question. Right. What does it cost? Or what are you charging me? And of course they hear everything. And, you know, right. everyone's got advice when you're buying a home. And, and that's okay. Um, but, but yes, of course, we go through the closing costs. And again... It's changed so much from when I first got in the business where closing costs are, I wouldn't say standardized, but almost, right? They're, they're, they're regulated. You, we all have to be inside of a 10% variant. So again, you don't have to call 50 different banks. I always suggest that you want to call one, two, or three, right. just to make sure that that particular bank or lender that you're talking to is right in that ballpark. But if you have a good relationship with them, stick with them. Just make sure that you're, what they're offering is well in line, and then you should be fine. That being said, so... You know, I always tell people, if you're pre-approved with this company and you just went under agreement on the house, because rate doesn't matter at all when you get pre-approved. No. You should never look at rate when no. you're getting pre-approved. It makes no sense to look at rate because the rates are variable. They're going to change. Just get your pre-approval, your permission slip, go out and look at some houses. And sometimes consumers don't know you, that. They don't know that, right? right? They think sometimes the rate that you gave them on the pre-approval or if you gave them a quick quote, three months later that can yeah. change. And obviously you want to let so them So you know get your that. pre-approval, awesome. Okay, so great. Now you're under agreement on the house. And yeah. that's when I tell people, go call one or two other people. That's right? when you want to make sure. That, that's when you want to do your rate. Yeah. Okay, so rate, closing cost, right? We have to stay within that 10% variable. So whatever they quote you, by law, they have to hit within 10%, yes. right? Which is great for the consumer. Yes, yes, um, yes. And, you, and again, sorry to jump in there, but you just gave me a good idea. The one thing you do want to watch out for as a consumer is obviously those closing costs are pretty much standard points, right? Points right. are the ones that, you know, someone could slip something. Again, not slipping something in, but, you know, maybe they didn't disclose it verbally or maybe you're, oh, you're getting a great rate. Is it really, really good? Well, then maybe there's something to it. Maybe right. you're paying for a, a point or a point and a half and you just didn't know. And maybe that's why those closing costs are 5000 more than the next guy. Which we've right? done a video on paying down points. So if you're wondering what that is, feel yes. free to go take we'll a look at that video, that. Um, well, which is great. And, and you've actually had, you've actually looked at clients of mine that weren't going with you, you've looked at their good faith estimate in sure. order to make sure everything of course. was good. So yeah. I, I'm the first one to tell them it's a good deal. If it's right. a good deal, stay Go. with it. There's nothing wrong with that. So one of the things that I feel is very important, especially being on the East Coast, quite frankly, is picking somebody that is local, right? Yeah. That, that is on the East Coast. Because I'll tell you, you have a closing, you're supposed to be closing in the morning, you're supposed to be closing at say 10 o'clock, right? You know, if if your banks on the West Coast, which a lot of these internet banks are yeah, on the internet side, yeah, they're not right. even they're not even they're in not the up office. And, they're yet, not been active, right? Yet, right. You know, they're they're not even getting around to starting to work on your file until noon around here. So you're getting all your requests at like eight o'clock at right. night. So I think choosing local. I mean, there's a million and a half different reasons why, but in order to not get more gray hairs on my head as well as yeah. well, you're, if you're a buyer, your head. I think going local is really important. Right. Well, you know, I think you know my feelings on that, too. Right. And it's not just because I am local. I mean, I do do some out-of-state stuff. But for the most part, if it gets a little complicated, I'm the first one to say, go to your local market. Go to your local bank. Go to right. your local community center. And, and, and why I say that is because, again, everything should be local, even in a metro market. I mean, we're in Boston, for those of you guys who don't know. You know, so obviously a big real estate market. But the key is relationships. Um, and that relationship reputation. matters. I mean, well, the, it's, it's massive. So that, first off, that relationship matters because huge. If, if one of my clients uses somebody that I know, if something's kind of going sideways or they have a question about something, I get to pick up the phone. I can say, Jason, what the heck? Right. right? What's going on? You know, what is going on? And I'm going to get a friend. And, and you're, and I'm going to pick up the and phone. And you're going to pick up the <laughs> first phone. You're going to get back to me right. versus, 
you know, Johnny Jane at um, uh, an internet bank that's out on the West Coast. ABC don't care, Mortgage. Right? No, that, I'm that just, mean, it's just file 1,340. Like, well, and, and let's be honest, they're not going to work with you again, Jeff. Right? right? They're exactly. not. So, I mean, we're not slandering, you know, Johnny Jane, but it, it's it's just, it that, just makes it you, they don't have a relationship with you. They Choosing haven't known each other for 10 years. And, and even on the seller side, if you're saying, hey, you're bringing out that buyer and it, it's presented by, by Jason and RMS or someone of another, another reputable bank local, they're going to know that. And the seller wants to see that and you're more well, likely so that, to that get that Well, so that gets the reputation. And, right. and, and that's and one of the great things in working with you and, and RMS Mortgage is RMS Mortgage you. does have a great reputation Thank you. versus there are some big banks out there. There's a really big internet bank, won't say any names, that if, if my client has already been pre-approved with one of them, I will tell them, go get pre-approved again. Because in this yeah. competitive market, you can't do it. you're not you're you're not going to get that deal the seller, accepted. The seller right? won't take it, and and that's not great for everyone. But it's just unfortunately, it's just the facts right, right now. Right, Rep it's makes a huge, right. huge difference. And I'll even tell clients if it's not me, go with another you know reputable right. local right. lender. If it's not me, of course I want it to be me, but it, that's fine too. But you don't want to use that once yeah. in a while. You're going to use those big banks, and there's local guys working for big banks, right. and that's okay. And there's a difference there, but you got to know who they are and that they're going to get the deal done. So even then, a lot of times the underwriting is in. You know, right, and, but, but if you had a local guy who yeah. you control, because I, I, hey, I worked at a big bank when I started out, so that, that's okay, but it, you just have to know, and that's massive for a consumer too. Right. And I think, Jeff, it all goes back to our first point, which is rate. So right. if the consumer is so, so focused just on that rate, well, everything is great over here, but this one big bank's giving me an eighth of a rate, you have to factor everything else in. Right. And as I always You might say, not even get the deal. If you can't close, the rate doesn't matter. Well, and that, right? that goes to service and actually getting to the closing table right i mean there's the i think they are the biggest bank in america and that's in their name yes. you know i can't even tell you how many times they actually haven't got there was one time where the client got the pre you know the commitment yep. at the closing table basically hours before the night before that's when they said, hey, you need to bring an extra $20,000 to closing in order to make this because happen. Because we discovered something in underwriting or something like right. that because it what? took so long. You can't, that's, you can't do that. Right. I mean, and, and, and that's how deals the fall The domino apart. effect from that is not, never mind you lose paychecks. Your deposit. And, I mean, it's just I mean, it's, We got legal issues now, right? I mean, that that's the stuff. So it's... And then we it's and there was another <laughs> one of our clients against our, our best advice was using just a, a mortgage brokerage that... You know, wasn't tied to a bank, right? Because there's a difference between sure, a mortgage broker sure. and somebody who works with right. the bank. It could be some internet bank or um, Joe's mortgage company. You, know, you have to know who you're dealing with. Rate was ridiculously high, and it was out of it was. She did not want to go put in all of her stuff again in order that that was her big block. That. Was yeah. was I didn't want to have to go through the whole process again. So not only did that bank not get her to the closing table, but it ultimately ended up well. It could end up costing her deposit. So I mean, right. the service and getting to the closing table matters so much. So much. Um, so much. So as long as that rate is really competitive, that's you want the other factors in. Right. And and I'll be the first one to tell clients that, like, look again, as long as if the reputation is good from that other lender, or if even sometimes they'll tell me who they're quoted with and so and so who they're working with, and I'll say, right. you know what, they're good. That's okay, yeah. you know? Again, of course we all want the business, but as long as I know that they're in good hands, especially if they're working with someone like you or another strong referral partner, you want them, to, you just want the client to be taken care of and know that it's gonna happen right. in a timely fashion. So as, as a quick recap, what should you be looking when you shop for a loan? Obviously rate, okay? Obviously closing costs. Highly recommend that you do do somebody local, whether you're here in the East Coast, pick somebody here on the round here on the East Coast, or if you're on the West Coast, hey, pick somebody on the West yeah, exactly. Coast, right? Yeah. Um, and, and be sure that you actually look at the reputation of the lender who you ultimately choose and talk to your, your realtor about the reputations, perceived reputations of these banks that are out there. And then just also, hey, you know, John Smith, Mr. Agent, right? What is your experience working with you know, RMS Mortgage, what is your experience working with Leader Bank? Whatever the companies are, ask your question. Have, have that open dialogue with your agents so that way you are ultimately a more informed consumer and, and can make the right decisions. I was just gonna say, last thing on that, Jeff, because sometimes the consumers can get caught up in thinking that you know maybe you and I are working together or you know that's why you're giving my name out, but you know I can't say strongly enough, you know, do trust your real estate agents, trust your attorneys that you're working for, friends and family referrals, but again, you know, the, these, 
these well reputed the agents don't want to give you anyone that they can't get the deal done and that they've had the experience time after time working with these lenders who are going to get it done for the consumer. And that's, well, that's exactly that's right. what the agents want. You know, well, there's I mean, no motivation there than to help the consumer. The motivation for me is getting the client to the closing table. Right. right. You know, because that's my job and that's what I want. I, if they've chosen a house and that's what they want, it's my job to help facilitate the, the, the plan and get them and there. Less get them as possible, by right. the way, right? I mean, that's the, that's the other part. And for me, I, I, we've done over 500 loans together at this point. So I, I know when I give your name that, that or you do a pre approval, it's, it's going to get to that closing table. So I, right. you know, these are just some things. This is what you should be looking for. Um, when you're shopping for a loan, relationships really do matter a lot. Um, should you have any questions about home loans or mortgages or pre-approvals or anything in that shopping experience, go to Jason Bonarigo. Jason, how do they uh, contact you? My cell phone's great. Uh, 617-413-5038. Give me a call. Shoot me a text. I'll be happy to chat. And I'm the real estate guy, whether you're thinking about buying or selling, I can help you. Uh, even here in Boston or anywhere around the country, I can help with uh, some other reputable agents. You can get me at 617-480-2600, or you can reach us online at boston2.com. Thanks for watching. Should you be enjoying this content, be sure to hit that subscribe button below. Um, but otherwise, if you have questions about the process, please feel free to reach out. We'd love to shoot another video on your questions. Thanks.